Welcome to what I eat in a day post frozen embryo transfer. As you guys know, I had my frozen embryo transfer on July 1st. And even though we're at the end of August now, this is a very good representation of how I've been eating since my embryo transfer. And my goal has always been like a very balanced diet, eating healthy, but also easy. So here you see me making a bagel on the go. And this morning just happens to be the morning that I have to drive an hour well, it was more like two hours waiting in traffic to my dermatology appointment in Seattle. I have something called um, mycosis fungoides, which is a T-cell lymphoma. And then um, I've been diagnosed with melanoma in 2016. So I have to drive all the way to Seattle to my dermatology oncologist every three to six months for a full skin check. So today just happens to be the day that I have to do that. And my appointment's at 9.30. So this is about 7.30 in the morning. I'm preparing my to-go breakfast, just a simple bagel with peanut butter. And then this is some of my juice left over from when I juiced uh, let's say a few days ago so I just keep it in the fridge it lasts about a week and I only drink eight ounces every morning and a little bit goes a long way you don't need to drink any more than that to get like a lot of nutrition first thing in the morning so I'm gonna take this on the go along with my bagel and I like these um, screw on tops because very convenient I also got my gallon jug of water because I need to start on my gallon of water already to get all of that in for the day and just as a reminder a large part of eating healthy is just thinking a little bit ahead of time finally made it to my dermatology appointment it all went well by the way no new skin issues my skin looks good so that's always a plus back at home i am desperate for a snack because it's not quite lunchtime yet but i'm getting hungry so this is my go-to snack i always just have a handful of brazil nuts because of their selenium really high in selenium which is really good for thyroid health thyroid health is very important for hormonal health so now on to lunch, I'm going to do a fertility smoothie bowl. Those of you who follow on Instagram and know exactly what that is. Basically, it's just all fertility friendly foods all blended up together and poured into a bowl and then with fun toppings that are also fertility friendly. Um, I did not have my collagen coffee this morning. Some of you might have already noticed that. So I'm putting collagen in my smoothie right now and then I'm just adding a little bit of whey. I normally don't eat whey protein powder as all of you guys know probably that by now, but I was all out of vegan protein powder. So I just added a little bit of whey to boost the protein content. I added a bunch of blueberries because they're high in antioxidants and some tropical fruits too for fun. And then I love pouring it into a bowl just like this one because it's you know large at the top. So you can put a bunch of toppings on top. The toppings I chose today are ones that are higher in protein. So hemp hearts are really high in protein. They're actually considered a complete protein. So for those of you who are vegan, um, you should probably eat some hemp seeds because they are considered a complete protein. I also put on some pumpkin seeds because those are really high in protein and really high in magnesium. Magnesium is a mineral that a lot of us are lacking in our diet. So I always try to eat pumpkin seeds every day. And goji berries are really high in iron. And iron is really important to help build uterine lining, especially if you're trying to conceive or boost your fertility. So I love goji berries. They're kind of an acquired taste though. Some people don't like them. I just love these fertility bowls because they're so fun. You can change it up all the time, never gets boring. I overfilled this. So I'm eating a couple bites before I move it to the table where I sat down to eat. I just did a workout. This is now the afternoon and I need a post-workout snack, but I do wanna show you my setup here in the room after I show you my post-workout snack. One of my go-to snacks, especially after a workout, is a Go Macro Bar. And I keep them in the fridge because I like them cold. They're like chewier and I like the consistency better. And I like both of these. There's the protein one and the one that I chose to eat is like a coconut, I don't know, chocolate chip one, I think. And this is my setup here. You don't need a lot of space to get a good workout in, by the way. You just need a little bit of a space and your own body weight. I just happen to have a kettlebell and uh, a booty band. It was leg day for me and it's way too hot outside to work out in my garage. So I just pulled my mat out, did some kettlebell exercises and used my band. And I got a great half an hour workout in, worked up a sweat. Because this evening was such a warm evening, we didn't want to cook or turn the oven on and make our apartment even hotter. So we walked to one of our favorite places to eat, especially for pizza, and we sat outside and enjoyed ourselves. I had that arugula pizza, Josh had a pepperoni pizza. They were delicious. I just wanted to remind you guys, I'm sure you guys know this by now, especially from watching my videos, hopefully, that you can still lead a healthy eating lifestyle and go out to eat and enjoy yourselves and enjoy some of the junk food. These pizzas aren't exactly the healthiest, but that is part of leading a healthy lifestyle is still going out to eat and enjoying yourself, enjoying your partner and other company and family and friends because eating is so much a part 
of not only feeding our body, but feeding our souls. Just want to remind you guys. Okay. On to supplements. So I don't know if you guys have watched my supplement video, but if you haven't, I'll link it down below. These are all the same supplements that I've been taking, uh, leading up to my frozen embryo transfer. I'm still on them post embryo transfer. So I started taking them a few months before my embryo transfer to help prepare my body for the embryo transfer. I take a prenatal vitamin, as you saw there, that I get from my naturopath, but you can get it online also. And then I like these omega-3 supplements I get at Costco, they're fish oil, but I like them because it's just fish oil, they don't add anything else to them. And then I take a vitamin D3, 2000 units IU, I also get them at Costco. This is folic acid, it's one milligram, and my naturopath recommended I take folic acid in addition to the prenatal vitamins. I used to take CoQ10, but not anymore. Josh still does, so I'm setting it aside for him, and then he takes an Allegra because he's got allergies, unfortunately. So I wanted to point out these magnesium pills to you guys. Look at all the added ingredients there, like added colors, natural flavors. Josh bought these at Costco the other day. I'm gonna take them back because I don't understand why companies have to add all those terrible ingredients. They're so bad for us. So be careful when you're buying supplements that the companies aren't adding other things into the supplements that are bad for us and that defeats the whole point of the supplement. Anyways, trying to get my last little bit of gallon of water in for the day. Okay, it's time for dessert and these have been my go-to dessert for I don't know, a few weeks now. These heavenly hunks get at Costco. They are definitely heavenly, they're addictive. So be careful if you try these because I've easily eaten five, six at a time and a serving size is one because <laughs> they are so sweet and dense, but they're so chocolatey and oatmeal-y. Oh, they're my favorite. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think that's gonna be it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it gave you some meal ideas and it sparked your interest in maybe what to eat if you're on the fertility bandwagon like I am. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it because it really helps support my channel. Leave comments down below with any questions you might have or any comments you have. And of course, always remember to be kind to yourself and I'm gonna go to sleep.